Hi everyone, Swati and Vinayak from the Dram Club. In today's video, we will be reviewing Amrut Triparva. Amrut Triparva is India's as well as Asia's first triple distilled single malt. It is another big milestone from the Amrut distilleries who have already had a big milestone by releasing India's first single malt ever. So Amrut Tri Parva was a limited release. Only 5,400 bottles of this expression were released globally and 600 bottles were meant for India and it was released in 2020. So Vinayak, what is triple distillation? So triple distillation as a process is not new to whiskey making. It's very prevalent amongst uh, Irish distillers primarily. Triple distillation creates whiskies that are often described as smooth by refining the spirit thrice instead of usual two times a distiller is able to concentrate a fraction of aromatic flavor and the flavorful compound making the whiskey a lot more smoother so irish whiskies have had a long history of triple distillation in fact even distilleries in scotland such as ochentoshan rosebank and hazelburn are known for triple distilled whiskies and amongst bourbons Woodford Reserve has been triple distilling its bourbons since 1990s. So on that note, Swati, shall we get to the tasting? Absolutely. Please, so why don't we do the honors? I think it's... I think it's... It's a bit straw. Actually, uh, no, it's golden, gold. uh, but a, not a very bright gold, slightly mm. dull. Yeah. Oh. I think. Lots of fruit. Lots of fruit, but there's also some a hint of spiciness. I'm um, actually that hint of spiciness. Uh, is more like a, for me a herbaceous green that the okay. very faint uh, bell pepper, the green bell pepper okay. or uh, some leaves like a parsley like a, but not a very strong Yeah, so it's that. a very like cardamom kind of a spice hmm. but yeah, lot of sweet notes there is lot a of little, tropical fruits yes uh, there's some citrus notes as well I'm getting a bit of coconut. You know, actually, I am getting a bit of guava. Okay. And uh, that guava that you get with the pink center. Yeah, that you eat with the salt on it. Yeah, but I'm not getting the salt okay. obviously. <laughs> but the the guava that uh, has that you know that two ah, sorts. The one okay. has a white center and white that. pulp, and one has the pink pulp. So I think I'm getting more of that pink sweetness. Yeah. But I'm also getting some vanilla in this. Yeah, there's lots of tropical fruits on yeah. this one. Very, very fruity. Shall we add a couple of drops of water? I think and I would it uh, sip it first, that, then add water. Okay, I'll sip it out of the water. I think uh, for me, the palate is a lot more herbaceous. Uh, of course, there are a lot of sweet notes which we got on the nose, but it's very grassy. Oh. Mm. It's a very uh, sweet, mm -hmm. very like a nectar sort of a sweetness. There's honey as well I'm getting now. Right. There's a bit of apricot. Mm. I'm actually getting a, uh, some melons. Okay. And there is a nice uh, spiciness that is coating my yeah. uh, palate, which is a bit of... Uh, Cinnamon and cardamom, as you mentioned earlier, yeah, yeah, and there's yeah. some pork coming through. I'm pleasantly surprised on this one that um, the spiciness mm. or how the woody uh, notes, oak notes, yeah, are overtaking on the sweet, uh, fruity notes on right, this one. Right, right. I think for me on the palate, it's spicier than mm. uh, what it was on the nose. Okay. Uh, but again, a lot of fruity notes that you get you, uh, still carry through on the palate. Uh, for me, I think it's a very velvety texture in the mm. mouth. It coats the mouth really well. There's that mild spiciness uh, that keeps lingering uh, yeah. even after, you know, you had now, a sip. Now, in the second sip, uh, what I'm getting is a bit of peach. Okay. 
some and the creaminess uh, or the velvety texture yeah. that you said for me it's a bit of a creaminess mm. um, I'm getting some coconut as well yeah. on the whole but yeah I mean given it's triple distilled it's a fairly lighter spirit on the palate it's not very heavy or overpowering yeah so I think in terms of flavor obviously because of triple yeah. distillation um, but the texture yeah. is unlike any triple, triple distilled distil. whiskey because it's not a light texture mm. because typically if you uh, compare uh, this one with a lot of triple distilled uh, whiskeys that are uh, available um, they tend to be very light on the palate but this yeah. one and they have a very short finish mm. this one is a very creamy and rich texture yeah. and with a very uh, long sort of a finish that is uh, I'm getting on actually it. on the finish I would disagree uh, uh, for me it's not a very long finish it's mm -hmm. at best medium uh, because while there is a lot of uh, flavor going on the palate mm -hmm. I don't think it lingers for a very long time on my mouth okay. um, like I would expect the spiciness to stay on for long but it doesn't the spiciness again is not like a typical uh, it's not very spicy so you will it is it is not but usually what happens is that's what ends up staying longer than your sweeter notes or mm -hmm. other thing but I, I don't think in this I get that long finish okay. yeah I think I would disagree to that for me the finish is between medium to long okay I am getting uh, that sweet, uh, obviously, I mean, the sweet lingers through throughout. Mm. The fruity, the peach, and the passion fruit sort of a sweetness. Right. It uh, goes through, mm. and uh, I get that subtle spiciness coming through, right. along with a bit of oak. So okay. for me, that finish, I wouldn't say it would be, I would put it between medium to long. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Uh, so I have an important question for you. Of course. What would be your recommended food pairing for this whiskey? Given the fruity sweetness on this one, I think uh, I would go with something and given it's a very Indian whiskey, so my recommendation would be something spicy and Indian. So I think what I can think of is uh, Chicken 65, Okay. something spicy and uh, Amritsari fish. So I think these, but you know, I mean, you could also add mutton galotti. Right. As well, anything that is slightly meaty, hmm. spicy, Indian, I would put. Yeah, so for me, those between uh, Amritsari fish and chicken 65 would be my go to trials or pairing with this one. Actually, I wouldn't mind having this with a cheesecake, like a okay. classic New York cheesecake. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, The New York cheesecake is very soft and it's very creamy. Mm -hmm. And because this is a mix of sweet and spicy notes, mm -hmm. uh, which are very well balanced, okay. I think it would make for a very interesting pairing. So on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate this whiskey? Okay, uh, I think that's a tricky question. Mm -hmm. uh, to be fair, I think it's a very good whiskey. Mm -hmm. uh, I really like uh, what it offers on the palate. Mm -hmm. But I think for me, the finish is not as I would have expected it to be. Uh, so I would give it a 7 on 10. Okay. For me, I think I would uh, Give it an eight. Okay. Uh, and for two reasons primarily, it's a great whiskey. It's a fabulous whiskey. I love the. Um, I think this is unlike any triple distilled whiskeys. Not that we've tried a lot of Irish right. whiskeys. So yes, it's a it's a very unique triple distilled whiskey. So I think I have to hats off to that. Hmm. And for Amrut to sort of be the pioneers once again. Right. So for me, it's a eight on ten whiskey. So that was our review of this. Amrut 3 Parva, a limited release by Amrut. Please let us know in the comments below if you have tried this whiskey and your tasting notes or feedback on the whiskey. Stay tuned for more such reviews from us. Until then, stay safe. Cheers.